Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Jazzland! And we are in the final stretch of the building the wedding venue after all the speed edits. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the final walkthrough of the venue and how it turned out, but I am also at the end going to show you a little trick for how to add some lighting if an area is a little too dark and you don't want to add a bunch of lamps or whatever you're trying to do so because the venue since it's going to be at 6 p.m um i needed a little extra lighting so i'm going to show you guys how we're going to pull that off at the end so that's kind of a bonus tip at the end of this video but let me just show you what's happened so far and what we have ended up with okay i'll show you what it looks like We'll do the aerials, we'll do the walkthrough, all the good things. And then we'll learn something. How about it? Sounds good to me. Sound good to you? Alright. Here, let me turn off this this sound because if somebody messages me, it's going to be loud. Alright, so this is the landing point where everybody will land when they show up. And let's just kind of look this way. So over here... We have a little section where we will probably end up taking some pictures. Um, we have this little piano with the water coming down from Love Superstore. These ruins are from Love Superstore. A lot of this is from Love Superstore. <laughs> we got the S and the J over here. Of course, we got our G and Peacock right there because what's a wedding without peacocks, right? Then on this side over here, we've got like cherry blossom trees and these little candles and the little rock formations. Of course, we had to have some animals besides a peacock. We got our little squirrely squirrel there. He's from GN2. And we have our little lanterns hanging in the trees, of course. And of course, you can sit on this. There he goes. <laughs> And then we have our welcome sign showing which direction to go, which there's really not much choice about which direction to go, is there? <laughs> I did that on purpose. <laughs> so we walk through the little tunnel with the wisteria and all the twinklies. That grass is from half deer. And then we've got over here, you can turn this way, you can see it from this angle. We've got the rivers, the trees, all the decor, the bridge. There's another tree, HPMD. I love those trees. So we kind of frame this out, right? Right? There's our river. We're going to walk up this way. And this is what I'm talking about, about a little dark. It just seems like there needs to be more light over here. So we're going to fix that when we, once we walk up here. There's another peacock because why not? <laughs> and we've got over here, we got the little bunny rabbits. See the bunny rabbits? I love them. We got some flowers. There's the river. See the sunset reflecting off of it. Love it, love it, love it. Right? Some irises and I also put out these little fireflies the fireflies actually came with a different grass and I detached them and just set them out by themselves so that came out pretty well I was pretty happy with that of course we got the river uh oh let's get rid of that that doesn't belong there final walkthrough we're gonna have to do some editing aren't we <laughs> There's the river on that side with the water fountain. I mean the water fountain, the waterfall. Y'all, it's late at night. It's late at night. <laughs> it's all good. We got our little butterflies. Do you see the butterflies and some of the flowers? I thought they were pretty. I think these are from Apple Fall. These candlelit lamps. So you walk up this way. And we got our little walkway with our flowers and our candles. 
Isn't it so pretty? Of course, they're lilac. Everything is lilac. And then we have our the wedding altar up here. The little place where we got to stand. Look at these chairs. Look at the chairs pretty. My little purple flowers. Y'all know it had to have purple in it, right? It had to. Like, it would be a crime not to have purple. Oh, yeah. And up here, we've got our... Our little, what do you call that, swag? I don't know what that's called. I just put it up there. <laughs> our little candlesticks up here. Our ruins. So, yeah. That is basically the wedding venue. The sole purpose is to come here, walk down the aisle, get married. Take some pictures. That's it, right? So, that's what it looks like. But here's the thing. It's a little dark, like I said. So what we're gonna do is learn how to put some more lighting here to give us some more lighting around here, okay? I do have advanced lighting mode on and it's got a little light, but not enough. So let's learn how to make some lights, shall we? All right, let me see if I can create I can resin object. I can. So I'm basically going to use these boxes. So I'm going to take a box, create a box. It doesn't matter what's on it, what color it is, if it's plain wood, it doesn't matter. Because we're going to make them transparent anyway. So we're going to go to features on this object and we're going to click light. Do you see that? I automatically added a bunch of light. See what a difference that makes? So, whoops, there's back of my head. We need to spread some light around here just to give it a little more ambiance, I think. However, I don't necessarily want the light to be that bright. take the highlight off now it's not gonna matter so we can mess with the intensity let me show you what happens if you watch these look there's my dragonfly if you watch these rocks down here you can tell so if I do the intensity I can make it less intense see how it's getting darker or I can make it more intense the highest is one for intensity right so we'll make it I don't want it too intense, but I do want some light. We'll keep it at one. Radius, if you watch that, as I go down, see it get darker. Radius is just the circle of light. It either gets bigger or smaller. It can go all the way up to 10. So I'm probably gonna leave it on 10 because we're not gonna cover this whole place in these lights. So I want the radius to be, oh wait, it goes up even more. What? Go Jazz? Look, I'm learning something while I'm teaching you something. Oh yeah, how far will it go up? That means I don't have to use a lot of them. 20? Okay, so it goes up to 20. Let me turn this off and see what the difference is. Wow. Okay, yeah, 20 is good. That means we won't have to put out as many. I can work with that. Let's move it in the middle. Okay, so 20 for our radius and then fall off if you go down it lessens the fall off which is kind of weird because I would think it would be the other way around but I can raise that to two so let's go back to one if I raise it up higher it's darker so you can just kind of play around with these numbers to see what you like and what's gonna work see it lights up the river too. see what's gonna work for your situation now the only thing I don't like is this is sunset up here and we've got this bright white almost fluorescent looking light so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the color of the light to kind of make it match to go with the sunset vibe we got going on 
and I think this is the yellow that I used. Is it? There's a lilac. There's kind of a gray. I just don't want it to be that really bright. I don't know that I want that much yellow. That might be good. What's this color? That's a little bit better. Let's see what the difference is. I don't want to save it just yet. Wow. See what a difference that makes? Oh, it changed it anyway. Boo, yes. All right, so let's see what kind of ambiance we can create over here. I kind of like that color, but make it lighter. What does that look like on my face? That's a good question, isn't it? We're going to get... The plan is to get a video of this made. So... When we get the wedding video, I'll add it to the playlist and then you can see um, Jackson Red Star is going to be doing the wedding video. So I'll add it to this playlist when it's finished after wedding is done and you guys can see what it looks like when a videographer does stuff with it. Alright. So you'll see it from just a slab of sand all the way to end result. Is that good light? Let's back up. Let's not back up that far. Okay, let me turn it off and see what it looks like. Well, let me save this color. How about that? Okay, now let's turn it off. Uh, oh, let me change the color. I forgot it changed. Okay, there's the color. Yes, I'm feeling that. That's more of a, a sunset vibe, don't you think? See how it reflects off the water? Love it. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So what we'll do is now we'll copy this box. Because I don't want to set up a bunch of boxes and have to change the color on all of them. Click OK. So let's see where else we need more light. Let's pull one this way. We'll raise it up. What if we put it over here? Okay, what happens when we turn that one off? Yeah, see? It just it makes such a big difference. over here it gives us more light okay I'm feeling that what does it look like when we walk past it feeling it feeling it yeah I like that what do y'all think well it doesn't matter because it'll be too late because we'll already be married <laughs> Just kidding. I'm used to doing live streams. I like that because you can see just enough. I think that's good. Let me look over here. It's pretty. Oh, I put sparkly. Uh, that sparkly alpha that Jetta Girl gave us when we did the desert. I put that in front of the waterfalls because I thought that was cute. Okay, I kind of like that. I think we're only have to do those three. Definitely makes a huge difference. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that. Um, we're gonna make them transparent, but we're gonna leave them there in place. Yeah, I like that much better. Much, much better. Yeah, you can see a lot more. And we still have the sunset. Perfect! Okay, ready? Ready, ready, ready. So let's, we got this one over here. So we're going to go to texture and transparency and we're going to type in 100 and then click off of it. And see, it made that transparent. So let me do this one. Can't even tell it's there. 
Now, if you have to move it, the other thing I could do is name it. I could name it Prim Light so I know what it is. Now I've lost that one. We'll go back and find it. I'll show you how to find it. This one will name it Prim Light so I know what it is. Go to Texture, do 100, Transparency, and there it went. Okay. So how do we find the other one? Because I know it's here somewhere. If I hit Control Alt T on my keyboard, all the transparent objects show up. There's a lot of them. That right there. That's my object. So I need to name that. That's my other prim light. So let's hit Control Alt T again. Woo! Makes a big difference, doesn't it? We name it Prim Light. And that way I know exactly what it is. But see? Ta da! Now we have light. We have light, extra light. And you can't even tell it's there. Sweet, huh? Went from dark to light. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, yeah. This is it, you guys. This is the wedding venue. All done. Let's see how many prims did I use total. Ooh, that's bright behind me, isn't it? Uh, world. Parcel details. Objects. I had, this had 4,116 prims, and I built this venue for 2,114. I still have 2,000 prims available. How about that? Built the whole thing and only used 2,000 prims. Ta-da! Pretty good, huh? What you think? All on a platform. See that? But you'd never know it when you're sitting here. Okay, you guys. That's it. That is short and sweet walkthrough plus a bonus tip on how to create lighting. If you need to create lighting in a venue or anywhere else in a house. Doesn't matter where. That's how you can do it. So... If you like it, please give this video a thumbs up and you can watch the rest of the playlist if you didn't catch it to see how I built this from start to finish. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and hope you enjoyed it. So yeah, leave me some comments. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think. All right, you guys, I will see you at the next video or live stream, whatever the case may be. All right, see you later. Bye.